Welcome to this video, where I will teach you how to recognize short and long vowels when reading Dutch words. What you will learn from this video will benefit both beginners as well as more intermediate and even advanced learners of the Dutch language. The Dutch word for vowels is klinkers, and as you can see in this graph, there are three kinds of vowels, namely short vowels, long vowels, and the mute vowel. The short vowels are represented by one vowel in writing, and they are pronounced as follows, from left to right. A, E, E, O, E. The long vowels are represented by one or two vowels in writing, and they are pronounced as follows, from left to right. A, a, I, O, U. Finally, we have the mute E, uh, in Dutch, stomme E, which sounds like E uh, again. Back to the short vowels. How do you know you're dealing with a short vowel in Dutch? There are two kinds of cases, as you can see in this overview. The first way to recognize a short vowel in Dutch is when a vowel is right in front of one or more consonants and nothing after that. In other words, we are dealing with a closed syllable. In these cases, the vowel is read as a short vowel. So from top to bottom, you can read the examples man, bed, ik, dop, munt. The second way to recognize a short vowel is when a vowel is followed by two consonants and then another vowel. These are always words with more than one syllable. In these cases, the first syllable has a short vowel. From top to bottom, you can read the examples mannen, bedden, zitten, doppen, muggen. Moving on to the long vowels. How do you know you're dealing with a long vowel in Dutch? As you can see, there are three kinds of cases. One way to recognize a long vowel is when you see a vowel at the end of a word. That generally means that the vowel is pronounced long. From top to bottom, you can read the examples. Ja, zee. D. Zo. Nu. Please note that the word ze, which means C, cannot be written as z with only one e, one a, because that would represent the mute vowel, about which I'm going to tell you more. Also, please note that the long e is always written with the letters e plus a at the end of a word, not with a single e as in the example D, which you see here. The second way to recognize a long vowel is very easy. With one exception, which you will see later in this video, a double vowel always means it is pronounced long. Now why do we need to write a double vowel here? It's because the vowel is part of a closed syllable. In other words, you have one or two consonants at the end. To indicate that the vowel is pronounced long, you need a double vowel in this case. The example words are read as follows. Man. Date. Ziek. Boat. Muur. The third way to recognize a long vowel is easy if you contrast this pattern to what you learned earlier in this video. If you see a word which has a vowel, followed by one consonant and then another vowel, this generally means that the first vowel is read long. In other words, we are dealing with an open syllable here. 
The examples are read as follows. Manen Weten Liter Boten Muren If you understand everything so far, you will be more comfortable reading Dutch vowels. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. There is one vowel which doesn't obey the rules I have just been talking about. That is the mute E uh vowel. As you can see, this vowel can appear at the beginning, in the middle, as well as at the end of a Dutch word. Please note that this vowel is never stressed in pronunciation. Some examples of the mute e uh at the beginning of a word include begin, beroep, gezin, jeroen, meneer, een. Here are some examples of the mute vowel appearing in the middle of a word, as well as at the end. The examples here are read as leveren, mazelen, aardappelen. Finally, here are some examples of the mute e uh, appearing at the end of a Dutch word. De, je, tante, boeken. Lepel, moeder, makkelijk. As you can see, the mute e uh sound can even be represented by other letters, like here in the word makkelijk. Let's put our knowledge about vowel spelling to the test. Please pause the video and take a moment to think about how to pronounce the vowels which I marked here. If you need to, you can check some earlier parts of the video if you are not sure. These vowels, these words are read like kopen, visite, dak. Now pause the video again and try to see if these vowels are long or short. These words are pronounced wie, kranten, zeker. Moving on to the next three. Please note number seven has the mute vowel. These words are pronounced tafel, zakken, boot. Finally, how do you think the vowels in these words are pronounced? These words are pronounced Oma, <coughs> Oma, Het, We. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you are alerted when I post a new video. Thank you.